What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition HPI. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, Cap Suicide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with your rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. Um, I I saw your new channel, uh, Honey X Scorpio. Um, I'm so glad you're okay, ma'am. I was just worried that you were hurt or harmed or something. So I'm glad to know you're okay, ma'am. I support whatever decision you want to make with your, your business. Of course, it's not my business um, to worry about your business, but I love watching you. So, but I'm just glad you're okay. For anybody who doesn't know, Honey X Scorpio has a new channel, but she wants positive energy on it only. So if you're going to, don't be go, be in a karmic going on over her damn channel from my, my channel, um, purveying her, okay? But I don't think my collective will do that. I really, truly don't, but I'm just saying, okay? We've grown a lot over here in two and a half years, but she only wants positive energy only. That's why she started a new channel. She explained it in there, but I'm just glad you're okay, ma'am. I thought something had happened to you. Uh, I mean, it's not funny. It's not funny. It is definitely not funny. Not at all. I just want to say this real quick before we um, get into the reading. I've just seen, like, okay, I'll give you an example. I've lived in the city for about five, a little over five years now in Huntsville, Alabama. Um, I've lived in the city over five years now. The police force, city police force, used to patrol the convenience stores and the gas stations very heavily um, and Walmart very heavily. Well, I'm assuming they're not because the crime has picked up so bad because we're the highest populated, co highest populated city in the state of Alabama now, even over Birmingham which Birmingham was for the longest time, but now we are. But they don't patrol the gas stations and the Walmart and things like that. Either. Within the past two weeks, two weeks, you guys, I go into Walmart. They're talking about having to call the police for domestic violence, um, theft out the wazoo in Walmart, which there always is theft, but like uptick in theft. People beating on their spouses and partners publicly in walmart i went into the gas station tonight the one i always go into the safest one around here that's why i go into it and it has cameras and stuff and it's well lit so i go into i strategically chose that one. it wasn't here about uh it's only been here about a year year and a half but i strategically go into that one for many reasons well lit cameras Police used to patrol it, um, not heavily, but, you know, used to hang around it. Anyways, I go in there tonight, the cashier's talking about somebody grabbing uh, grabbing stuff and just running out. Theft. Like, whoa. I mean, it's getting scary out there, folks. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Everybody, please be careful. Please be careful. And we're in the holiday season. So it, the theft gets worse in the holiday season. The uh, public negative energy gets a lot worse in the holiday season. And depression is very, very, very prevalent in the holiday season. Um, but we're not going to be depressed on this bitch. We're not going to be depressed, okay? We're not. I refuse to be. So we're not going to be depressed, okay? Not over on this, this channel, okay? I don't care what is going on in everybody's life. Y'all know I don't have my kids here full time and that's depressing. It could be depressing. It could be. But I'm choosing to transmute it into a positive thing. Um, my daughter's got a job now. She works at Target and she's doing well academically and getting in good clubs and um, groups uh, in her school and she is excelling forward. So that really makes me happy. Very, very, very much. I just I just want my kids to do well. And that's the whole reason I moved out here, bought this house, got her in where she was. That I just want to do well, period. So if she's doing well up there, I've come to accept that. That's just the truth. Um, and and she's happy, you know, and she's making she's making money. <laughs> and that makes her happy. So the legal way, <laughs> working at Target. So 
you know, that phone call the other day warmed my heart very much. Um, I can be annoying, but uh, like I told her, you can call me annoying till the cows come home. But can you ever say, I didn't put a roof over your head, food in your belly, love you till the cows come home, and do everything in my bones to provide everything, every opportunity, and every positive situation for your ball, whatever ball endeavors you wanted to do. She did football, only girl on the seventh grade football team. Just saying, I was very proud of her. Um, Football, basketball, volleyball, softball. I mean, every opportunity she could ever imagine. I was even going to get her in art, um, art, art school. But, and she said, well, no. I said, well, then I've done my job. And that's just the truth. And my son, um, I haven't spoke to him recently, but hopefully if he can just, God, if they can just change him off that Prozac, I would be so happy. Get him on some alternative non-medicinal behavioral therapy or something other than Prozac. Prozac is a damn killer of people. And that's just the truth. Um, and my son is just too young. He has too beautiful of a life for that. And that's just the damn truth. But anyways, my point is we're not going to be depressed over here. Holidays can um, promote depression in people that are not happy in their lives. Um Honestly, after I talked to my daughter the other day, it made me feel so much better. You just have no idea. Like, she's communicating with me through text now. I told her, I was like, as long as you communicate with me, I'm fine. As long as you communicate with me and just let me know what's up in your life and let me know, one, you're not being abused, and two, things are positively moving in your life, I'm okay. Um, I don't care if you live five minutes from me or five million minutes for me and that's just the truth um so my mindset has changed on that is what i'm trying to say as long as my ex-husband will do his job as a parent and go in there and advocate for my son with the prozac i would be happy um but my point is we're not gonna be depressed on here okay but everybody please be careful especially if you live in huntsville alabama i know a lot of you guys do please be careful there has been i'm telling you it's like every time i go into walmart they're talking, the employees are talking about domestic people getting to, um, partners beating up on people, their partners, domestic violence in public, um, theft, um, the person that ran out the map code. I mean, Lord, with that, please be careful, you guys, please, 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 okay? I'm not talking about just people in Huntsville. I'm sure it's that way in all cities large small what have you what have you but i know what's going on in my city so please be careful just please okay get you get you some mace i mean not utilizing it if you don't have to but i'm just saying okay so the channel message i received was um true colors have already come out and more true colors are about to come out for some of you guys, this is um, going to be very um, positive. For some, this going to be very negative, very eye-opening, but very clear truth. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So true colors, some of you guys, true colors have already come out in person or people, place, or situation. Some, they're about to come out in person, people, place, or situation. Some, I think it's going to be positive true colors, some negative true colors, but However that resonates, whether it's going to go positive true colors or negative true colors, you're, I heard you're going to be very happy about it, whether you're seeing somebody, their evil shit coming out and their negative side, or they truly are, maybe you thought they were, you misjudged and you thought they were evil and they're really not, you know, however that resonates, it applies, but I heard you're going to be very happy for the clarity. Um, for some, you could already be happy for the clarity if you resonate over here and the true colors have already come out. How that resonates and applies, okay? But here's here's the thing. Wouldn't you rather know than not know? And that's just the truth. That's the way I look at it. I would much, much rather know than not know. If somebody's a fucking snake, I'd much rather know it than be, um, what is it, kissed with a lie than slapped. I'd much rather be slapped with the truth than kissed with a lie. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not saying anybody's gonna be going up on you, kissing up on you, but <clears throat> that's like the that's like the catchphrase. 
that I've heard in the past. Um, wouldn't you rather be uh, slapped with the truth than kissed with the lie? I would much rather be slapped with the truth than kissed with the lie, whether it's good or bad. On one person or a million people or in one situation or a million situations, and that's just the truth. So true colors coming out, good or bad, whether it's already happened or it's about to happen, okay? Boom, baby. Get real. Sorry, y'all, I just ate. I just ate. I made me a pork tenderloin and smothered that puppy with some sugar-free honey mustard sauce, and I ate the entire damn pork tenderloin, like, the whole fucking thing. I shouldn't have, but I did. But it wasn't that many carbs, so I don't feel so guilty. Just saying, just saying. Okay. Unemployment fraud is about to be exposed in a false marriage. Unemployment fraud in a false marriage is about to be exposed. So you plug in how it resonates. Now, that could be you that was put in, um, you that was frauded, um, you know, your unemployment was frauded, or somebody you're connected to. It could be you that was put in. I, I don't, listen, I've been pulling in these false marriage shit. This isn't real. It's not real. You have to sign it in front of a judge. So unless they took a fucking doppelganger up in there or frauded your signature, it's not real. It's not real. <laughs> Damn. I hope that person lies under the fucking prison. And that's just the truth. That is the sickest shit I've ever heard in my whole life. Putting somebody in a false marriage. I mean, there's some crazy shit out there. There's theft. There's unemployment fraud. There's hell. The Secret 7 was fucked up. But putting somebody in a fucking false marriage? That's the most fucked up of the fucked up. And that's just the truth. So a false marriage is about to be exposed in unemployment fraud. Everybody, please be safe in your city, lo location, locale, wherever you are, you guys. I'm serious. Movement. And it's about to happen fast. And it's about to happen fast. A false marriage and um, unemployment fraud is significant for at least one of you guys. It's about to happen fast. So you could be the one where the um, unemployment, maybe you're going to help expose the unemployment fraud for some for some you could be the one that was frauded with the unemployment for some you might we're covering for somebody that was frauding somebody's unemployment how that resonates and applies um confirmation how only well, you know which side of the karmic wheel you're on not anybody else but that's some shifty shit man um yeah they're gaining money from it but it's not their money um I just, people like that, just whatever. And then a false marriage. And y'all know how I feel on that. It's not even a real marriage, man. I, I don't even would like, hate to even presume how the hell they got away with that. Except like taking somebody that looked similar to you to the damn courthouse to sign the marriage certificate um, to fraud the marriage certificate. That's the only way I can think realistically that somebody would get away with a false marriage. And that's just the truth. But I've heard it's about to be exposed soon. Movement. Fast movement. Eight of Wands with 555. Spare messages here. Innocence reversed, submerged, upright. 
Ancient Healing Wisdom Reverse. For one, you're about to reveal child abuse and exploitation. You're about to be a hero. About to contact the right person. Well, this is good. Well, this is good energy. Okay, so for one of you guys, you know about child abuse and exploitation. I heard you're about to contact the right person. You're about to reveal it. And it's going to make it move fast with the eight of wands and the five, five, five energy. You know some kind of child abuse or exploitation. Um, it could be molestation, it could be something more, but some kind of child abuse, uh, whether it's molestation or more, um, and you, you know the right person to contact, and I heard you're about to contact them. So the child, the innocence reverse is the childhood, um, is the child abuse, whether it's molestation or something more, um, I heard exploitation too, so they were exploited in some shape, form, or fashion, but you know who to contact, sir, ma'am. High vibrational, sir, ma'am. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. You're about to do it. Because um, child or children were child abused, and you know about it. And I think you're submerged in your feelings and emotions and your thoughts about it because you, whoever you are, you haven't done the right thing. You haven't reported it yet. About to do it. And it is big. About to do it, and it is big. So you're about to do it. Yeah, I think you're submerged right now because you're in your thoughts, feels, emotions about it because you didn't do the right thing in the past but you're about to do it submerged in your thoughts feels emotions um because you know about the child abuse but you haven't done the right thing and whoever you are i think you're upright or you have just become upright how that resonates but i think it's bothering you with the submerged energy it's definitely bothering about to do it okay i heard it's definitely bothering you it's definitely bothering you. you're about to do it well kudos to you because we should all be advocates for children hashtag save the kids we should all be advocates for children and for everybody. Elderly, children, anybody. Middle-aged middle people, um, cognitively impaired people, you know, everybody is what I'm trying to say, okay? And I'm not just saying that from a because I'm a nurse. I mean, I could career change a long time ago. Um, I just love what I do. <laughs> I mean, it's not, I'm not just saying that because... I'm a nurse. I'm just saying that because even if I wasn't a nurse, that's the right thing to do. And that's just the truth. All right, let's pull another one. If someone is trying very, very, very hard to figure out where you are getting, what company you're getting in at and the details on this, Intuitively, you know who this person is. Do not give the information out. Okay, so for one of you guys, you've already started a new company, job, position, what have you, what have you, or you're about to. But someone, whoever you are, you've recently started the company, job, position, what have you, what have you, or you're about to. But how that resonates and applies, someone is trying very, very, very hard to find the details out about what position, where you work, blah, or where you're going to work, or blah, 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 blah. But I heard intuitively inside yourself, you know who this person is. So um, I heard it wouldn't be smart to give the details out, and you're right. So whoever you are, you had a gut instinct not to give the details out to this person because you intuitively knew they were basically going to take the information and run or take the information and gossip or take the information and use it in a negative sense. And I heard you're right. So, whoever that person is to you, if you resonate over there, if you've recently started a new job position, um, I heard it in a new company, or you're about to, okay? Only you would know who that person is, not anybody else, okay? We're not talking about business owners over here, not business owner energy. This is like a 3D workspace company, okay? And I'm not saying you can't have two, two plus businesses, five million businesses, a side hustle, and work full time at a company. Because you can. Everybody has right, rights and free will to do that. But, um, well, unless you're restricted to do so. But my point is, in a free world, 
You can do that. So, you're saying you're saying. Experiments it is you have a budget. I gotta get a new deck. I'm going to. Let's see. If we can pull some more positive energy here. Let's see. For one, you're about to get a shocking phone call soon. For one, it's your child. For one, it's someone that recently broke energetic connection with you. They're going to need help. Okay, so for one of you guys, you're about to get a shocking phone call soon. Um, for one of you guys, it's your child, so I feel it's your biological child or a foster child, how that resonates and applies, for one, and for one, it is um, someone that recently broke energetic connection with you, um, and they're going to need help, so how that resonates and applies, whether it's your child about to shockingly phone call you, um, I feel that could be a minor or an adult age child, how that resonates and applies in your own situation story. Or um, someone that recently broke energetic connection with you. So they strategically broke energetic connection with you, strategically, but they're about to call you for help. Um, how that resonates and applies. Excuse me, holy crap. Sarah, Mr. Dish, you have a bucket. And someone has sex with everybody. Everybody. For some, it's a masculine. For some, it's a feminine. Everybody. They're going, for one of you guys, they're going to try to come back. Claim they want to be with you, but this really would not be smart. Requesting an STD test would be very smart. Somebody needs to hear this, and you know this person is a hoe. Oh, my God Almighty. Wow. Damn. Okay. So, we have at least two sexually, like, promiscuous. Like, promiscuous, go. Something, something, something. How have you sang that song? That's what I think of. Promiscuous Girl by um, Nelly. One is a femme promiscuous girl. For one, it's a promiscuous guy, a dude. But I heard they sleep with everybody. So, they don't care. They're an equal opportunity hoe, basically. They're an equal, equal opportunity hoe. Um... For one of you guys, I heard they're going to try to come back into your life and claim basically they want to be with you. But beware. I didn't hear this was because of your money, but I feel it is. I feel whoever you are, you're stable, grounded, dependable, reliable. They know you are. And I think they want the security with the nest energy of your money. And the fact you're a very stable, grounded, dependable, reliable person. And I feel you probably had good sex. Now, I didn't hear you did, but you I'm sure you do. I'm sure you tear it up in the bedroom. Uh, but with the right person. But these people just display their goodies out literally like the V. Or the P. Woo! I mean, like, I heard a SED test would be very smart. So if you allow this person back in, like, in your romantic life, I feel whoever you are, you probably had sex with them in the past. Or they want to have sex with you in the past, but... These promiscuous people. But how that resonates, um, I heard it would be smart. At requesting STD tests would be smart. So I feel they're going to want to get back in your pants or get in your pants. It'd be like a stop sign at the door. be like, eh, eh, eh. public health department. Eh, eh, eh. Just saying. That's for one of you guys. They're going to try to come back soon, whether it's the masculine or feminine, promiscuous girl or boy. Um, I 
obviously I think they have at least one STD, if not two or two plus. And for some of these, it could be very serious, um, like HIV or AIDS or something. And I hate to say that. I didn't hear that. That's just intuitively what I feel because I heard STD tests would be smart. I mean, just saying, I'm not one to, um, if that happened to me, I would be the stop sign. And be like, eh, nope, you got to go to the health department. I need to see your results. And that's just the truth, but I'm not normal. So, because <laughs> I don't want no damn STD, and that's just the truth. Tree affairs with your family, acts, forces working against you. Okay, so we have nest and uh, emotionally secure loving family is important to you. Tree affairs with your family, acts, forces working against you. Nest and emotionally secure loving family is important to you. You are a very, very, very loving, kind person, very loving and very generous. And many people know this, and they're about to stand up for you and your kids in a huge way. Behind the scenes. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. Behind the scenes. Okay, so behind the scenes energy. Holy crap. Your family has been a huge karmic to you in the past, but it's about to backfire on them. Well, that one makes sense. Okay, so karmic family. So your family was a huge karmic to you in the past, but it's about to backfire on them. But whoever you are, you're very give. You're like a queen of cups or king of cups energy. Um, I'm not saying you're water sign. You might, you might not be. Um, but you or you might have water in your chart. I'm not, I'm not saying you are. But that's what it reminds me of in tarot, like a king of cups or a queen of cups energy. Um, whoever you are, I don't care what sign you are. I didn't hear what sign you are. But my point is. That is the energy you're pulling up in. If I was to pull your energy, that's what I feel would be popping out. Um, and that's just the truth. But no matter what sign you are. But the point is, is you are very giving, loving, and kind towards your children, towards a home situation, a family situation, your kid or kids. But your karmic family has been a huge karmic to you and your kids in the past. But I heard a lot of people that is not your family, I'm presuming. Not your biological family. Not your biological family. They're not your biological family. So a bunch of people that's not your biological family is about to stand up for you behind the scenes. And it's about to benefit you behind the scenes. So behind the scenes, so it's not going to be in front of you. It's going to be behind the scenes from you. But I think they might feel that you're their family or you were a part of their work family in the past or a part of a group dynamic that felt like a family in the past, but they're not your ancestral bloodline family. Um, this, these, this large group of people that's about to stand up for you and your kids because they know you and your kids and they know how much you love your kids and how much you've been there for your kids and care for your kids and, or you have and how that resonates. I heard it's going to benefit you in a huge way. Um, so that's beautiful. Um, and I heard your karmic family was basically a huge ass karmic to you in the past. So they didn't want well for you or your kids. And for some, I feel they could have split you and your kids up or create a series of chain events to try to split you and your kids up. Um, or something negative happened to you and your kids because your karmic bloodline and sexual family or your karmic bloodline and sexual family, they want you to believe. Because I've been pulling in some of you guys. You think you're part of a family and you're really fucking not. They just want you to believe it so they can abuse you. So, however that resonates. I know that's wacky as fuck, but that is the truth. So, however that resonates. People be so cray cray these days. You think you see it and hear it all. And then you, and then you get more. And that's just the truth. <laughs> I mean, what can you do but just laugh at this shit? That's just the truth. It's sad. Why can't people just live happy lives? And that's just the truth. Without drama. And whoever you are, sir, ma'am, you've got a drama-ridden family. Very drama-ridden. And so many people know this. Very Oh, God, that's confirmation. They're very drama-ridden. Your family's very drama-ridden, and so many people know this. I think that's, that's why they're about to stand up for you behind the scenes regarding your kid or kids. Because whoever you are, you're like a king of cups or queen of cups energy. I don't care what sign you are. 
you truly do love and care for your care kids. And I think you've proven it to many people. And it's not just talk. It's like action. But you have got a karmic ass family, man, that just doesn't want well for you. But I heard it's about to backfire on them. So in this aspect, aspect, this is you being like a queen of cups or king of cups um, parent is what I'm feeling. Um, and also this being your karmic family. And also this also could be the people that are about to stand up for you. They're not really your family, like your ancestral bloodline family. But trust me, if anybody knows that's estranged from their ancestral bloodline family, i.e. me, just because they're kin to you or blood to you doesn't mean they won't well for you. If anybody knows anything about karmic families, it's me. And that's just damn truth. I am still estranged from my karmic family and I will remain estranged. And that's just the truth. Because I know how they are. And I don't want that for me down the line. Um, or my kids. And that's just the truth. So um, you have to protect yourself, you know. But um, so what I'm saying is this could be like work family, group family, people that consider themselves part of your soul family. Um, how that resonates applies. The people about to stand up for you. They're not ancestrally DNA related to you, I'm feeling. But they might feel soul tied to you or um, or they were part of a positive group dynamic family, a family as type setting or in the past to you or current or um, it could be ball team family. You know, there's many types of families that aren't ancestral bloodline related is what I'm saying. I feel that's what might be for one of you guys. But you plug it in how it resonates, okay? If that makes sense. <coughs> Excuse me. Ask. Oh, ooh, not ask. Oh, I said ask. <laughs> I didn't mean to say ask. Sorry, y'all. Axe. A-X-E. Axe. <laughs> I have too much fun with these reads these days. Ask. I, I did it again. Maybe somebody's being an ass to you. Oh. Axe forces working against you. Your karmic family is the karmic of all karmic families. And they're about to experience many negative series of chain events in their lives. For some, they might reach out to you asking for help. This would not be smart. They need to handle it on their own. Okay, whoever you are, you have the karmic of all karmic families. And that's just the truth. I mean, that dumb. You've got the forces working against you with the family tree. That's karmic family energy all day long. But you are in the Queen of Cups and King of Cups energy. Um, they are the karmic family. But I heard they're about to start experiencing all these negative tower launches. Like boom, boom, boom. Like left field energy. I didn't hear left field in here. But we've been pulling a lot of left field energy. So just like boom, baby. Boom, 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 boom. But, but um, they are about to... Um, Experience some negative karma, basically. I think for the way they treated you, King of Cups, Queen of Cups energy, I don't care what sign you are. You might receive a text, a phone call, or an email, well, not email confirmation, but text, email, phone call, some kind of phone call energy. I heard at least one of you guys, you are going to receive some kind of contact from a karmic family member asking for help. I did hear that. So that's confirmation with the phone. So I think they're going to call you. Or email you, or text you, or messenger you, or whatever the hell these people do, okay? That's for at least one. They will call asking you for help. But yet, they, it's like, I heard it wouldn't be smart, though. The spiritual download, it wouldn't be smart, because they basically have done, brought all this crap upon themselves. They brought their karma banks built up, and they brought all this shit upon themselves, so it wouldn't be smart to help them. They need to help themselves, is what I heard, basically. So, they need to learn to be independent. Um, and figure out how to solve their problems and move forward in life in a positive, healthy, copacetic way without codependency or enabler energy um, is what I'm feeling. For one, it's going to be an overdose. For one, it's going to be an overdose.
And for one, it's very heavy legal issues because in a legal business. Okay, so if one of these karmic family members is going to be some kind of overdose energy, I'm assuming illicit drugs or prescription pain pills or over the counter, like 30 ibuprofen, 30 aspirin, or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, some kind of overdose energy, whether it's the legal drug dealer way or 30 ibuprofen or 30 aspirin. Trust me, I've seen that shit when I worked in the jail. True story. People do that, which is funky as hell. Or illicit drugs like coke or meth or heroin or uh, whatever, 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 whatever the street drug shit is. And there is some of that shit out there too. So how that resonates and applies. For one of you guys, the phone call I feel is about to be an overdose. One help with that. For one, it might be, um, I heard it's going to be some kind of legal issues regarding a legal business of the past. But I heard it wouldn't be smart to help them. They need to learn to figure it out on their own. So they need to quit being so codependent on you and learn how to properly solve issues with their own self. Critical thinking, basically. Critical thinking skills, okay? Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right. I love you guys. I hope this helps so much and namaste.